City live broadcast. Uh, those of you who are listening through audio and visual, uh, Facebook Live, YouTube, uh, WhatsApp, uh, I don't know, Snapchat, all the chapters on all the channels that um, are possibly being watched from or heard from are welcome us to the uh, evening broadcast, ladies and gentlemen, watching from different parts of the world, listening from different parts of the world. You are blessed with all spiritual blessings in the heavenly places in Christ Jesus. You are highly favored of the Lord. The Lord has blessed you with every blessing possible, uh, possible under the sun. You know, the joy, the peace, the prosperity. Uh, the wellness, the soundness, the wholeness, the wisdom, the knowledge, the insight, uh, the wisdom, the understanding, the discretion, everything that uh, makes us complete and makes us effective in what the Lord has called us unto. I believe that uh, uh, the Lord has bestowed upon us eternal gifts with eternal ramifications and implications eternal gifts excellent gifts um, excellent uh, uh, manifestations of uh, exemplary attributes of God just absolutely outstanding phenomenal and common and uh, eternal in that case we have been on a series on the book of Job, which I intend to continue obeying the voice of the Lord under the instruction and the unction of the Holy Spirit, under the tutelage of the Spirit of God, and under the influence of uh, the Holy Ghost. Uh, we have been on this series on Job uh, for a week now, and we have delved into various um, interpretations and various uh, uh, ways of uh, uh, seeing and uh, applying and how life really doesn't uh, change and the more things change the more they uh, remain the same and I think the uh, Solomon the wise one was right to say nothing new happens under the sun Everything that happens has ever happened before. The human behavior has similarly been very um, repetitive. You know, uh, man has lived with hate, uh, with revenge, with love, with mercy, with compassion, uh, with uh, vision, with dreams and aspirations and inclinations. Uh, and um, yearnings and passions and desires, uh, these dimensions have always been found in the man. Man has harbored all this uh, uh, foresaid. But the life of Job is to encourage us in this 21st century, in the dispensation we are at, to teach to remind us of the faithfulness of God, that we even uh, that uh, when we think we have lost it all, that even when all odds are against us, when we have inadvertently or advertently, uh, by omission or commission, have failed or not risen to the mark, we are reminded that the faithfulness of the Lord uh, endureth forever. The goodness and the mercy of the Lord endureth forever. But God gives us another opportunity to see the light of his glory. God always gives us another uh, day to see his power. Another season to experience his faithfulness. And so... Uh, this is absolutely imperative and uh, mostly uh, very important for us to understand uh, that um, God has ordained man 
irrespective, in spite, despite it all, irrespective of the odds or the challenges or the morass or the conundrum or the quagmire or the fledgling uh, experiences or the failings of man, uh, God is always faithful. No matter how low we have fallen, God is always faithful. No matter how many losses we have had along the way or tragedies we have experienced along the way, God is always faithful. From the uttermost to the guttermost. That irrespective of what happens, in spite of all that happens, God is Always faithful. Did you know, throughout ages, God has always demonstrated his power. God has always demonstrated his glory. Whether in the old dispensation or the old order of things or the new order, or the new dispensation, or the uh, dispensation of grace, or law, God has always been forever at the peak of his power and glory. But this is only comprehended to the measure and the level that you have the revelation of his faithfulness and of his power. The ability in God, the capacity in God to create and recreate, to bring about that which would seemingly be impossible. The capacity in God to enable us to rise up irrespective of how low we have fallen. God's power is very present for he is our very present help in times of need and trouble the lord is our keeper the lord is our shield and buckler the lord is our present help in times of need and trouble the lord is our shade at our right hand the lord is our ebenezer the lord this far is faithful from the atomos to the guttermos from the rising of the sun to the going down of the same, the faithfulness of the Lord endureth forever. The loving kindness of the Lord endureth forever. The mercies of the Lord endureth forever. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord. Great is thy faithfulness. You see, the tender mercies, the loving kindness, the goodness, the faithfulness of the Lord. They are new every morning. Every day is a fresh day. The children of Israel were instructed to take manna for one day. It had to be taken fresh every day. Suffice it to say, the sufficient for the day is the evil thereof. I mean, that's the old English meaning. The Lord shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory by his son Christ Jesus. Every day he supplies your needs. Every day the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So he supplies us with wants and needs. Every day the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me lie on green pastures.
We shall not want for anything. In fact, Jesus later says in the New Testament, In that day ye shall ask me for nothing. Ask that your joy shall be made full. What did he mean by saying that? He meant this particular day. He projected the post-resurrection season. Those of you who missed the resurrection season, please, I refer you to go back to the teachings of last year and this year of the live broadcast uh, on the resurrection. The pre-resurrection and the post-resurrection and the post-resurrection manifestations and effects and the benefits of the post-resurrection because the testament for a testament to be in place and practice and in fact and to be in power the testator has to die so it takes three things for the covenant to be sealed or testament to come to effect the shedding of the blood the oath and the promise so he had to die shed his blood die rise up from the dead again then the testament the grace will be effected praise god so uh, the scripture is very succinct in that day ye shall ask me for nothing which day was that it is this day we are living in today when we delight ourselves in the lord he shall fulfill the desires of our heart he shall ask the Father anything in my name, and that I will do, Jesus said. Ask that your joy shall be made complete, that your joy shall be made full. The perfection of your joy is the joy of the Lord. The pleasure is of our Father is the perfection of our joy, the completion of our joy. Be not afraid, O ye little flock, for it is your Father's pleasure to give you his kingdom. What kingdom is that? The kingdom of power, the kingdom of miracles, the kingdom of signs and wonders, mighty divine orchestrations, supernatural acts. For we are the workmanship of God, created unto good works. We are the workmanship of God, created to walk in the preordained paths. The workmanship of God created unto good works to walk in the preordained paths. <laughs> Your path, my brothers and sisters, is already ordained. The path of the righteous shineth to the perfect day of the Lord. It shineth day by day, moment by moment. For we are not of they that draw back to perdition, but we are of they that to walk and crescendo from faith to faith, glory to glory, honor to honor, excellence to excellence, power to power, exploits to exploits, prosperity to prosperity, wealth to wealth, riches to riches, wholeness to wholeness, soundness to soundness, wellness to wellness, greatness to greatness, influence to influence, affluence to affluence, wisdom to wisdom, power to power, insight to insight, discretion to discretion, strength to strength, ability to ability. It's always a crescendo more, praise God. God does not diminish the abilities of God or the capacity of God or the nature of God is not to diminish. It is always on crescendo, not dominiendo or adante, but to crescendo, crescendo upward trajectory movement improving praise god successive movements forward always backward never <laughs> progressive and not retrogressive proactive and not passive praise god Alive and not dead. <laughs> In
increasing or expanding or enlarging and not diminishing, not extinguishing, not drawing back, but always crescendo, praise God. So this we see in the life of Job. It looked for a while like he was diminishing. It looked for a while like he was losing. It looked for a while like he had completely come to a cool de sac at dead end. It looked for a while like he was finished, famished, forgotten. Never have any potential to rise up to become anything anymore. Not even anything close to what he was before. His obituary was written. His friends uh, came and saw him and looked at him. And they wondered what became of this great, affluent, respected, honorable, upward, wealthy, rich, influential, wise, knowledgeable, noble, Stropping of a specimen of a man. But as long as there is breath in our nostrils, nobody has a bona fide right to write our obituary yet or to write us off. My beloved in Christ, there is the life of God that flows inside of us. I think I'm going to do a series again, which I have done before, but on a different level of uh, um, revelation, on, on the life of God or our lives in Christ. So the life of God is in us, doing wonders. The same spirit that raised Christ from the dead also dwelleth in us, vitalizing, enlivening, emboldening, giving life empowering our mortal bodies everything in the natural amplified and given life by the galvanating power of God it is always in motion to do wonders but of course, we have a way to participate in activating that power and that glory. Praise God. The life of God in us. And so as long as there was breath in the nostrils of Job, he lost his wife. I mean, his, uh, his sons. He lost his daughters. He lost his cattle. He lost his sheep. He lost his oxen. He lost his servants. He lost the house that... Uh, uh, his sons and daughters were dwelling in. He lost everything. His, he lost his health. But as long as there was breath in the nostrils of Job, there was yet another day to live, knowing that this is the day the Lord has made, and we rejoice in it. For the Lord who promised us is faithful to bring his promises to come to pass in our lives. The Lord who prophesied, promised, and spake to our lives is faithful to, pro to fulfill his promise and to make to pass his prophecy of our lives. For there shall be the performance of the word of God in our lives. For there shall be the performance of the promise of God in our lives. For there shall be the performance of the word of God in our lives. For there shall be the performance of the word of God in our lives. Ha ha ha. Glory, glory be to God in the highest place. Heavens and the earth shall pass away, but the word of God shall not fail. He told Satan, shake him as much as you can. Shake him if you so will. But remember his mind. When all is done, when the dust is settled, when the dusk is come, the crying and the tribulations may endure in the night. But don't forget 
at the breaking of the dawn, joy cometh in the morning. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Joy cometh in the morning. Sorrow, tribulations, afflictions may endure in the night. Darkness may gloom. Everything may be bleak, opaque, lifeless. But don't forget, the breaking of the dawn cometh. The sun shall rise again. And at the breaking of the dawn, joy cometh in the morning. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. God specializes in situations that people have written obituaries about, have written off, give it up completely. Behold, he stinketh. You should have been here a little while ago. Martha and Mary were complaining in, uh, to, to Jesus. And he reiterated again and again, I am the resurrection. I said, he that believeth me, even if you are dead, he shall rise up again and if he liveth he shall not die didn't i say i'm the resurrection believe i am the resurrection then he asked them where is he L -l let me now correct myself i said as long as there is breath in your nostrils there is no room to give up even if there is no breath in the nostrils dead pronounced dead by the morticians by the naysayers. <laughs> God resurrects dead dreams. God resurrects dead people. God resurrects dead uh, desires. God re resurrects dead passions, uh, dead visions. He is the resurrection. Praise God. Job had lost everything, but God was about to demonstrate his faithfulness again. And that is precisely what God is about to demonstrate in they that are watching this live broadcast right now wherever you're watching from wherever you're listening from you a life will never remain the same again god is resurrecting every deadness in your life thou shall not die but live long to declare the goodness of the lord in the land of the living for how shall they hear and know and perceive and understand it together if they don't see the hand of the Lord upon your life. The hand of the Lord is upon you. The spirit of the sovereign God, Lord God, is upon you. The life of God flows inside of you, vitalizing your mortal bodies, enlivening every dead dream. You're coming back to life again. You're coming back to dream again. You're coming back to joy. You're coming back to peace. You're coming back to prosperity. You're coming back to do all that you ever desired and passionately looked for to do and accomplish in your life. You are coming back again. Though thy beginning be small, but the end shall be great. You are not dead to be buried yet. They may have buried you before your time. But the power of God is raising you from the casket, raising you from the grave, raising you from the tomb. Lazarus, come forth. Now I say to you, come forth. Come out of your deadness. Come out of your... Uh, giving up come out of your poverty come out of your bondage come out of your poverty and and curses come out of your retrogression come out of your constant failures come out of your stagnation come out come out come out come out come out of your deadness giving up despairing of hope before your time rise up again thou shall see another day the sun is risen the birds are chopping the gushing waters, the splashing of the sound of the great waters, the bees are buzzing, the wind is blowing, and the jackals rejoice in the wilderness. He shall make a river, and he is making a river to flow in the desert places and the deserts. And the willingness to blossom. Forget the former things, for he's doing a new thing in your life today. Can't you see? Can't you see? 
Forget the former things. God is doing a new thing in your life. You may have lost. You may have been shaken. You may have been discouraged. You may have despaired of hope. You may have been forsaken, rejected, left for dead. But the sun is risen. The sun is rising. And to they that reverently worship the Lord shall the Son of Righteousness arise with healing in his wings. And thou shalt be released like cattle, like calves released from a feeding stall. Thou shalt gamble with joy and excitement and elation because life is back. Hallelujah. I will continue the same. Don't miss the, the next broadcast. Don't miss uh, what I got to uh, bring forth from the kitchens of heaven. Fresh smoking, fresh manna, fresh bread, fresh, fresh, enlivening, empowering, resuscitating, recalibrating. Oh, hallelujah. Glory be to God. God bless you in the name. Father, bless your people. Bless them abundantly in the name of the Lord our God. Job may have lost, but he restored him back, Lord, fully. He had double for everything he lost. Your people may have lost, but you're giving them more because the life of God flows in them, vitalizing everything, bringing back to life everything lost, even much greater dimension in their lives. Father, I give you praise for blessing your people, reviving them, empowering them, oh God, blessing them in a great way. In the name of Jesus, there will be testimonies of the manifestation of the faithfulness and the power of God in action in Jesus' name. You may be listening to the broadcast and you have never had an experience with Jesus as your Lord and Savior. And this is an opportunity for you. I'll pray with you. You say with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and was raised by the Father on the third day. And he shed his blood. For the remission of your sins, with your heart to believe unto righteousness, that Christ is the righteousness of God in our lives today. So say, say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I open my heart to receive Jesus as my Lord and Savior. With my mouth, I confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Raised from the dead on the third day, shed his blood for the remission of my sins. With my heart I believe unto righteousness. You are the Lord, the Redeemer, the King, the God over my life. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Always a joy to bring us the word. You will never fail with the word. And remember, God's faithfulness abides in your life forever. You will never, never, never fall into insignificance and irrelevance. God will the Spirit of the Lord will always bring you to a place of relevance, significance, and a place of prominence. God bless you. Job lost. God bless him double. You may have lost. You receive the word double today does not mean real double, as in double. You receive exceeding abundantly, infinitely, beyond all that you lost, beyond your wildest prayers. Wildest dreams, loftiest aspirations, greatest passions and desires, God will do exceeding abundantly, immeasurably, praise God, without measure, countless, immeasurably, to the bursting of the seams. That's your portion in Christ Jesus, in Jesus' name. God bless you. Love you all. Take care. I'll be back again. Kingdom Aristocracy, Douglas Wrighty. Always a joy to bring the word of God.